Welcome friends, it's time for another coffee chat. Hi, I'm Meredith and welcome to my channel, Mare of All Trades. Today's video is brought to you by my coffee addiction. That's right, it is not sponsored, it's just simply I like to drink coffee and I talk a lot, so why not make a video, right? So the coffee I'm drinking today is out of my uh, mug from the salon that I used to work at, which was called Frumos Hair and Skin Care. Don't mind the lipstick marks on it. Um, it was in St. Paul. It is no longer there, but this is a little fun caricature of my old boss. Her name is Denise, and she's quite the character, and we love her so. Alright, so the coffee that I am drinking today is... Uh, has coffee creamer in it as always this is the french vanilla international delight coffee creamer that's what's in there today and i just broke into my dunkin donuts original blend medium roast coffee this is the big guy that i got at costco because it's like bigger than my head um and i've really been liking it a lot actually i was a little concerned because it's a medium roast and i'm normally a light roast girl but it's really good i like it a lot and uh yeah absolutely would repurchase anytime costco has it on sale but I'm also not averse to trying new things. So if you haven't been here before, I do all kinds of videos here on my channel, beauty, lifestyle, and fashion unboxings. I also do grocery hauls, shopping hauls, chatty videos, whatever I'm up to at the moment. And I also do lipstick of the day. This is actually the same color I think that I was wearing in my last coffee chat video now that I'm thinking about it, but this is the Super Stay Ink Crayon from Maybelline and it is number 45, Hustle in Heels. I really like the color a lot, but I also just think think that it goes really well with the shirt that I'm wearing. So that was the decision behind that choice. Speaking of the shirt that I am wearing, I got this, I saw this in a Jane Austen Facebook group and I had to have it. It says, Netherfield Park, let's see if I can show you the whole thing, is let it last. So for any of you Jane Austen junkies out there, you totally get the reference. But um, yeah, I just, I, I loved it. I am absolutely love Pride and Prejudice. I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about it like 700 times here on my channel, but I saw the shirt and I was like, I don't even care if it ends up fitting me terribly. I will sleep in it. I want this shirt. So there you are. It's just like a little fun raglan style baseball tee. I think I'm wearing the size large because it's a unisex. Um, if I can still find it online, it's from Bonfire, I think is the website, um, where you can like customize your own shirts and then like do a sale, kind of like a, what a lot of YouTubers do for their merch when they first get started doing that. Um, so I just thought it was super fun and I thought I'd share it with you and if I can find it, I'll link it and if not, well, it was just so fun. I had to, I had to have it. So um, I have some book recommendations, some movie recommendations. I'm answering some questions from the last coffee chat that I did. And yeah, so, okay, first up, uh, the lipsticks that work well under a mask. So this was a question one of you had. You wanted to know if I had any recommendations for ones that I could wear under, that you guys could wear under a mask. So I actually tested them out and the number one winner as far as like almost no transfer at all and great staying power, and this was not a shock, I was pretty sure this would be a great one, is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink uh, Liquid Lipstick. This is my personal favorite. It's actually somewhat similar to the color I have on, but this one is number 118. It's in the shade Dancer. I know there are a bunch of other shades. This just happens to be the one uh, that I own love it. The only thing I'll say is you will have a heck of a time actually getting it back off. Like if I don't thoroughly scrub my lips and like use makeup remover and makeup removing wipes and wash my face and like all of the things, I can wash my face and the next morning there will still be lipstick residue staining my lips. So it's a little hard to get off, but boy, if you need it to stay, it sure does. Even uh, underneath the mask, on a shopping day to Costco and you know wherever else you happen to be going it lasts so there's that and then the other one that I tested out is the NYX soft matte lip creme so I love that they're both drugstore options um, this one is in the shade Rome this one held up pretty darn well I had a little bit of wear away but not a ton and it didn't like smear all over my face so it wasn't like it just transferred onto the mask. That's what I'm trying to say. So I really like the shade Rome. I have a couple of other colors. This is Sao Paulo, Copenhagen. This one's pretty dark. So you have to really love a bold lip for that. Um, sort of that like 90s, like 
grunge deep deep lip color and then the last one is monte carlo so this is a really fun red shade if you're looking for a bright red so just a nice range and i just really love this lipstick in general it's great the drugstore price point's like six dollars can't beat it and i think this one's like 8.99 the maybelline one so both really good price points okay so some netflix shows that i have been watching lately there is a new episodes of the great british baking show which have any of you guys watched that i just love that show it's like so calm and peaceful and they are just baking things and all the contestants get along really well and it's just fun to watch and it doesn't require a lot of brain power so at the end of the night if you've been doing distance learning with your children and you are too exhausted to do anything else put it on have a cup of cocoa or a glass of wine and just relax and unwind in the evening. It's a great show. It's also uh, very kid friendly. So if you want to watch a show with your kiddos, you can totally curl up and watch that. And there's nothing in it that you have to worry about um, being an issue or that your kids are seeing or you might have to have a conversation about it later. So that's a good one. The other movie, this one's actually a movie. Great British Baking Show is a show, um, is... Enola Holmes absolutely loved that movie have you guys heard of it and if so have you watched it it's on Netflix both of these are and Enola Holmes is Sherlock Holmes little sister and her mother goes missing and so she's trying to find her mother and of course Sherlock is also looking for her mother it's an absolutely wonderful like sort of coming of age story it's clean enough to watch with your children, but it's absolutely uh, a great show that you could watch by yourself. <laughs> um, so it's not like it's just for children, uh, but it's clean enough. You can watch it with them. So there you go. It's really fun. It has um, Henry Cavell and, um, oh shoot, now I'm not going to think of her name. Darn it. Get in front of the camera and I forget <laughs> everything I know. Um, She is, uh, anyways, it has an actress whose name I can't remember. I'll put it in the description box later on when I look it up and I can think of it. But she's great. She's one of my favorite actresses. And for some reason, I can't remember her name. So absolutely go check that one out now that we've been sitting here listening to me think about it for a while. Um, a couple of clothing items that I've purchased, not even, this one isn't even recently, but I absolutely love it enough that I felt like I needed to tell you about it. So this is... Something that I got off of Amazon in an Amazon Prime wardrobe video I did probably like three or four months ago now. This is the Packed Sustainable Fashion for All tank top and it, I have it in the size extra large. So first of all, the quality of the material is excellent. It's so soft and comfortable. It has a good amount of stretch to it, but it's one of those tank tops that has that shelf bra built in. And I feel like it actually gives me some support, which is unheard of, I feel like, with a lot of shelf bras. But I love that the straps are not, um, they're adjustable, so they're not too long on me, which is important because I'm a shorty. And I think if you're looking for something to wear either as pajamas, or let's be honest, if you're at home and you just want to, you know, feel put together without actually having to wear a bra. I feel like this gives pretty darn good support for that. So I like that if in the mornings I don't want to get dressed right away, maybe I want to lounge around in my ratty leggings and my tank top and maybe just put like a cardigan or a, you know, like a sweatshirt over it, I'm good to go. I also like that the tank top part doesn't come down super, super low. I feel like a lot of them, I feel like most of my chest is out of it. So I really like the coverage that this gives. So I'll link to it on Amazon if I can find it there still. And if not, they also have their own website. So I'll link to that as well. And I'll kind of tell you which one's Amazon and which one is Packed Apparel. Because I know some people don't like to shop Amazon. You know, I always like to try and find a different place to buy it if I can. But, you know, it's easy. Prime is easy. Dang it anyway. Okay, so now I have some book recommendations for you. I have read two series that I absolutely devoured this the first one of them I devoured the whole series in less than a week 
The second one I'm currently devouring and I've been staying up way too late each night, which is part of the reason there are bags under my eyes and the other reason was my daughter was up last night. So I think she's getting a molar, like her two year molars. So that's been fun. But anywho, the first one was actually a book recommendation from one of you. It was, let me make sure I'm saying the right person, NorCal Roses L. So if that's you, darling, hello. Thanks for the rec. Um, so this is the book Truth or Beard, and it's by Penny Reed. Do you guys read on Kindle or do you buy actual physical books? Or do you get like Kobo or Bar um, what's the other one? Google Play Books? Where do you buy your books? I'm curious. I have a Kindle, so most of the time I buy Kindle books. I do also have Google Play, the app on my phone, uh, Google Play Books. And so I do occasionally buy on there too. I would love to know. And every once in a while, if I'm really in love with the book, I'll buy the physical copy. But anyways, tangent, squirrel. Back to what I was talking about. This is by Penny Reed. Now, this was a book recommendation, but what was funny is... <laughs> She recommended it to me and I went to purchase it only to realize I already owned the book. <laughs> See, sometimes I'm part of a ton of different authors like reader groups on Facebook because I'm a total book nerd in case you hadn't been able to tell that already. And this one, I had gotten another author that I follow. I follow Jenny Kate and they've done a book series with the same author. It's called the Donner Bakery series. I think that's what it's called. So if you haven't checked out Jenny Kate, or Jiffy Kate, sorry, Jenny Kate's one of the authors. <laughs> Jiffy Kate is the name of the author duo. Um, they did a book giveaway on my channel a while back. I highly recommend their books, especially their newer ones are really good. But anyways, they have written with this author before. So I think I had heard of Penny Reed in their author group. That was the point that all that babbling was trying to make. Um, I'm chatty today. So anyways, this is the first in a series of, I think it's seven books. I'm already through the third one. Uh, I've been reading one a day. <laughs> so, um, yeah, not getting a whole lot of housework done between distance learning and devouring books, but there you are. This one little corner where I film is nice and clean. You're welcome. <laughs> so anyways, absolutely been loving this series. She has such a great way of writing her characters. Like seriously, hands down, some of my favorite characters. Um, especially the third book. Absolutely love the hero in that book. His name is Cletus. Yes, Cletus. But he's like just the most unique, fun, funny, quirky character. And you just, you just gotta love him. But yeah, he's like one of my favorite book characters now. So anyways, absolutely love this series. Highly recommend at least the first three books. I'll be buying the fourth one later today to devour. But yeah, absolutely loving this one. So thanks again for the book recommendation. If you have any recommendations, definitely leave them in the comments below. I'm always looking for new books to read and, you know, spend my money on. I have to, I have to budget uh, some money every month for my subscription boxes and my Kindle book buying addiction. So the next one that I have to recommend for you guys is by Megan Quinn and it is called That Second Chance. Now this is also the first in a series of four books. This is the one where I read the entire series in less than a week really good uh i would say medium length reads the um penny reads books are all over a hundred thousand words they're like a hundred and ten thousand words so pretty lengthy for a romance novel they're romance by the way these are all romance 90 percent of what i read is romance let's be honest 95 percent. but anyways this one was recommended to me by my mother-in-law it is a great series really good like small town everybody knows each other uh romance series really good. The fourth book is my personal favorite, uh, but they're all absolutely worth reading. This is called the uh, Getting, uh, Getting Lucky series. I know, right? Cheesy, but it's great. They, there are four brothers. They go to New Orleans for like a party, just like a getaway weekend. They're all drunk. They end up um, breaking something that belongs to a fortune teller, so she curses them all. It's a little cheesy for the prologue, but they all think that they are cursed now in love because of it. And so, you know, they're more reluctant heroes. So anyways, really good series. Highly recommend. Check it out. I'll link all these books that I can um, down below in the description box in case you are wanting to pick some up. We had some boiler work. Yes, we have an older house. So we actually have a boiler, not a furnace. Kind of wish we had a furnace. 
uh, because it would make it a whole lot easier to have central air if we did, but um, our water tank that hangs from the ceiling in our basement actually fell, made one heck of a noise and scared the living daylights out of me, but came crashing down. Luckily, no one was hurt. And so we ended up having to have someone come in and repair our boiler and do a whole bunch of work. So that was interesting and uh, can't wait to get the bill on that one. But that's what has been going on in my world other than distance learning is we had the boiler guy come. So that was really exciting. What is new and going on in your world? Tell me down below. I always love chatting with you guys. So do you have any video requests? Uh, coming up for the month. I am working on that pie video that we talked about so I might try to do some Thanksgiving um, a bunch of different pies. I have a couple of other desserts just to share with you and I think I might do some like Thanksgiving side dishes especially some budget friendly ones for those of you who maybe are a little bit tighter on the budget this year or maybe just smaller portion sizes if you're not planning to you know host a big gathering what are your plans for thanksgiving and halloween and christmas what are you guys planning to do i think i'm gonna do just some fun halloween stuff here at home and the kids can dress up and maybe we'll watch a halloween movie and i think i might just put together like little goodie bags of all their favorite candies um and so i just that's like what i think we're gonna do and i think we're just gonna stay home for thanksgiving and christmas um yeah i think my mother-in-law and father-in-law have been pretty hardcore social distancing and so we might see if they want to uh, join us but we're definitely not going to have like a big large family gathering um, this year so what have you been up to okay so I have two more things to share with you two makeup items that I've really been loving so I've gotten a couple of compliments on how wonderful my skin is looking right now and while I am using some fun skincare products I did want to mention the Wander Beauty Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation. This has kind of become a favorite of mine. I really like how this goes on with a dampened beauty sponge. Um, I think it gives really great coverage without feeling super heavy and thick on the skin. Um, I do think that you know it'll settle just a tiny bit around the eyes but not too bad and i've been using it quite a bit if i don't want to even wear a full foundation i will do um a tinted moisturizer i have the tarte one the maracuja one and i will just tap a little bit of this on my finger and like go over any like blemishes or maybe like the end of my nose might be a little bit more red so i'll like touch up with this and almost use it like you would a concealer sometimes because it has such good coverage while still being light. So I just thought I would share that with you. It's been a for sure a favorite. And then the other thing is I did this in my drugstore beauty product testing video that I did a while back. I'll try to remember to link it on the end screen if you guys want to see that. But this is the Honest Beauty Invisible Blurring Loose Powder. You guys, I've been loving this. I feel like this does so much to blur this area right here. And I do drag it down because I have some... Um, larger pores right here so I feel like they can be visible sometimes so I'll just sort of do it right in here and then maybe like right on the end of my nose or if I feel like I have a little more texture on my chin or something I'll use this it's great I really think it makes such a difference it sort of pops open and it has one of those little mesh screens on there on the inside just tap my brush a little bit a tiny bit goes such a long way you don't want to go too heavy-handed or it can start to look cakey but that's true of I think any loose powder so absolutely been loving it. I'll link to these both down below if I could find them online for you guys. And then one movie that I own, which I don't think I've talked about before, but absolutely love. This is just a fun sort of quirky movie. It's called Penelope. It has Christina Ricci, James McAvoy. Oh, he's one of the uh, actors. No, wait, I'm thinking of someone else. Never mind. Strike that comment. Uh, Catherine O'Hara and Reese Witherspoon. It's absolutely hilarious really sweet sort of a poignant ending but she is a girl who has she's been cursed and she has a pig snout so this is actually kind of a fun one to watch with um I would say like older kids older grade school and up age children so she's been cursed her family's been cursed and so she is born with a pig snout <laughs> and she is trying to find someone to love her because the only way that she can break the curse is for someone to love her just the way she is. And so she goes um, 
off on this sort of like, almost, not like speed dating, but sort of almost like speed dating thing where her mother is trying to find her someone to marry her to break this curse. And so lots of hilarity ensues. It's just really fun and sweet and I highly recommend. I do think it'd be kind of a fun one since it's sort of fairy tale esque to watch in October around Halloween, um, but it's just darn cute all the time. So it doesn't have to be for Halloween. So absolutely love this movie, highly recommend it, and I'll try and find it to link um, if I can. So yeah, I don't think it's on Netflix, but I'll have to double check. But anyways, so that is everything I have for you guys. Definitely leave me any video requests. I think I'm gonna try a new um, sour cream chicken bake recipe that I found. So if it turns out, maybe I'll end up sharing that with you. I did try a chocolate peanut butter cookie recipe. Oh my gosh, you guys, it was so good. I will link to the recipe down below. You should definitely check it out. They're so good. The This chocolate flavor, I would say, is a little bit stronger uh, coming through than the peanut butter flavor in the recipe. So if you are someone who likes more peanut butter and a little less chocolate, you might want to do a scant. I think it's a half a cup of cocoa powder. Um, you know, maybe go just a little bit lighter on it, but oh, they were so darn good. I did bake them for one minute less than the recipe says. So if you end up clicking on it, just keep that in mind because I like my cookies to be like just a little bit like more chewy and almost a little fudgy in the middle. And mm, they were so good. I don't even want to think about how many of them I ate because I'm sure my pants will not thank me later, but they were darn good and you should definitely try them. All right, guys. So I think that is everything that I have to blab on about. Definitely leave me any comments, suggestions for books, movies, TV shows, coffee, whatever, down in the comments below. And you know I'll be talking to you soon. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Bye, guys.